Good morning. So, back to Snippy next development. In my last one, I fixed a problem with uh, the unit tests uh, when testing the import method, um, which was uh, a problem with. Uh, that's not the test, where's the tests? That's the tests. So, uh, yeah, so we found out that um, opening the database, I needed to um, protect myself, protect it from threading in the tests um, on a memory database. Um, it needs to have this cache shared thing. So that was an interesting find. Um, right, so we've got a couple of things to do here. Um, this test at the moment is bare bones. Um, we need to kind of start fleshing it out so that we can um, start failing um, uh, and then fixing. So at the moment we've got the happy path. Um, I should probably um well it's not a happy path actually that is a, a fail path as such um let's see what we should probably put some comments in here as to what we're testing at this point um, let's do this so i'll say um test Existing snippets are skipped by default. Okay, so now we know what this section does. And then we need another section here now. So, um, Let's do um, add in a new snippet to import don't need to say test. I need to kind of be a little bit more succinct in my comments. Existing snippets are skipped. Add in a new snippet. Uh, let's do so. New snippet is imported. Okay. So let's do that. So we need to create a snippet. Um, we can just create a dbus one because that's all we really care about. And then we'll pass it into the import. This, in theory, should work, I think. Um, so... Let's think we can probably do I'll do the address of a snippet and we will just pass we'll just give it an abbreviation and body
And then we'll basically copy this. So, oh, well, yeah, we need to append it. So, we'll do that a sec. So, let's do that. We'll just keep iterating on what we've got as a data set. So, debus snippets equals append to the debus snippets the debus snippet. make sure so that's the one difference here is that once we're in the server we're expecting copies of data not pointers because it's come across dbus so we have to be careful about that um, so we've created a dbus snippet which holds the data uh, it's not a pointer to it um, and then we're appending that to the array now, we already have stats, so I don't need to initialize it. So that should work, and I think we should be getting back three skips, and now a create as well. Let's test that. It's okay for the moment. Okay. No, oh, I didn't update the comment there. Ah, uh, okay. That's interesting. Now First of all, no errors with yes. Hmm. So where where is that actually failing then? Let's find out. So we'll put bake point on there and we'll run this. We'll go in and then we'll step over. So that should be fine. The first one will get skipped. Second one. Actually. Oh no, no, no. I was gonna just I'm I'm assuming it might be here, the insert. 
but we'll just step over and see. Because I need four records anyway. Right. And the two snippet. So there's an error already. Incorrect UID length. So we're going to pop out from there now. So it's dbus2 snippet. Okay. Right then. Now. That's a bug. So what's happening is that I'm passing in a debus snippet which does not have an ID. So that means that it gets filled in with basically an empty string as the value. And then the UUID function is taking that empty string and trying to create a proper UUID, but it doesn't have a value to handle. So I should probably protect against that. The obverse head is probably okay, because to get the ID in the snippet, it creates a empty UUID if you don't set it, which is like zeros all the way. But here, I need to protect, I need to basically do a zeroed out UID string. So, Um, right now, if I was sensible, I would do a test for that. Let's do that. Oh, not debus service. Oh, no, it is debus service, yeah. So... Yeah, so we're doing Yeah, we're doing two snippet. Right. I basically want to do this. with an empty ID.
don't generate an ID, don't pass it in. But let's do more. Let's do. No, I'll just do the AID first. Um, I'm just thinking that I could take out the last used as well. It's not required. But we'll do all that later. Um, so. We don't want an error here. What we want. is the out to be a UID nil. Yeah, that's all zeros basically. A UID with all the zeros. Is a nil one. That's what we expect when we don't pass an ID. And we'll convert in a dbus snippet, something safe to go across the dbus interface, to a proper realized snippet. Um, okay, so. Now we know that's going to fail. He says. So I'll go into the bus. Um, package D bus service. Make a test. Fail. Uh, encode your idea length zero in the string. Sixty five. Correct. Okay, let's go fix it then. So I guess the easiest fix here is to go var id uid uid. So that means we're going to have a nil doubt, I guess. I hope. Now, why is that not complaining? That should be, oh, because of the errors there. Okay, maybe. Um, and then here, we can go if the um, s dot id length is greater than zero, then try and grab it. Okay, I'm confused. Is it because it's not been assigned here? And we just basically reassign. That's interesting. So can I do something else then? Can I do... Um, ID is equal to UID D 
new. Why is that not recognizing? So it's shadow in it. Alright, so do I need to then create an error then as well? Um oops. But presumably I could do it the proper way. I just say okay. We're expecting an ID which is a UID. Let's do the same thing. Rather than saying that's just nil. And then we get whatever the default is. Which is probably better. Anyway. Alright, so basically we're gonna go if we've got some sort of string with length. Um, we could process it and get an ID and pass it in. Otherwise, we're going to use whatever's there. Let's try that. Pass. Okay, cool. It's the dame, isn't it? Let's just go back, do them again. So, yeah, so they all passed now. Cool. All right, so I fixed that one little test, the one thing there. Um, commit those. Um, we will do um, is default UID and boss um, snippet if not applied. Then, so we've done the debug service. Now we want to fix up. Well, we've just proven that's worked actually. Let's just do um, verbose. Okay, 
that's good. All right, so we've now just proven that that works. A new snippet can be imported. Um, now we've got the fun bits. So at the moment, comes in, does a quick check to see if it's already got the ID in the database. If so, sets the current snippet. And that comes down here eventually and says, all right, uh, we're skipping it. Now, the current version snippet that's stable and out there. I should probably actually do the other the other scenario first. So let's forget about that one because that's new. Let's do this one. So if we don't have a snippet yet, but we've gone going through the list of snippets to be imported. We check the abbreviation, see if it exists. Um, and if it does, we create a current snippet um, and skip it. Um, skip it, the snippet. Um, we in the current version of Snippet Pixie, you can say uh, you can pass a force flag to say if the abbreviation already exists, then update the snippet with the body changes and whatnot. Um, So we need to do that, and we haven't done anything for that yet. Should we commit that as is for a second? We can do that. Test, create new, right. That too. Okay, um, now let's start doing stuff so we need different config oh no we don't We need a whole new flag set. And we need a new a new parameter to the sync snippets service as such. So two things here then. The interface needs to change.
I was going to just add a um, an update flag. But it's going to start getting really complicated soon. Because we're going to start wanting to say things like um, things like based on your UID update or based on the abbreviation update. So if we have a match in a UID, we may reject or update. And then we've got the opposite as well. Sort of based on the abbreviation, reject as we do now, or update. And then there's gonna have to be the obverse there. There's gonna be like the scenario where If the UID matches, do we update the abbreviation or not? If it already exists, blah, blah, blah. It's going to get tricky um, and that single flag isn't going to help or any other it's going to grow so maybe I need to have like a sync options type that says okay this is the this is what the user wants to do they want to force an update based on the UID or a force update based on abbreviation Kind of, it's gonna have to be I think because the UID thing we need to kind of be a little bit careful and need to treat that as something that we could possibly ignore Especially with the legacy stuff. Well, that's the other thing. We could actually pass in the uh, The source 
Oh no, that could have come from a CLI or whatever. Okay, let's do this. Let's create a sync options. Um, Start with just update as a boolean. Just thinking if we've got settings we want to sync as well later. And it's still in the export file. Hmm. Just wondering whether whether there should be sync options and sync data. No, if we just do the I guess keep thinking ahead to one of the features that I've had on the list of to-dos for snippet picks for a long time is to be able to group snippets. So you could have all your snippets related to programming and all your snippets related to email and all your snippets related to your business and personal and all this kind of stuff and so you can once you get a lot it's a little bit easier to find them so that'd be a whole new data set coming in so we might have different types of data and there's some dependency between them as well. So you'd want to get it so that groups are in place before the snippets are assigned to the groups and so on. Kind of linked up. Probably a link table, so there'd be like three data sets there as such, three tables. 
snippets, groups, and uh, snippet groups or group snippets, depending on which way you want to do it. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe I should just uh, just do the sync option now, and we can refactor it later for that. There would be an interface change, though. There might be a way around that later on. So we may realized I haven't put a um a name on that. Interesting. So let's do I've got much time. I've got um gotta be off early. Let's do we'll just do some setup. Um try and get this update thing working. Let's do options as oops, sync options. Uh, it's so such a small data set. Do you want a pointer or just pass it around? I think we'll just pass it around. Um, okay. So in here, things start to get a bit more interesting. So
We then say actually config is going to require setting defaults. So we can do something like um, let's config args. This is going to fail miserably now because we don't have an update or false or anything like that. Now this needs to take Should just pass it across, really. And then Damon should accept it. And we've got to do something with it. Let's do, um, just do a little bit of debug here then just so that uh, that gets used because it's going to complain at the moment and we'll just do uh, if options to update then we'll just do um, format print line should have updated that do so that should take out the yellow on there that's good okay it's just a little reminder to myself that that's what should happen um so on the CLI, that's pretty good. We just need to grab the data and pass in the options. Uh, in the main, we are expecting an update there. So we need to go get config. Um, so... Oh, I've got a bunch of tests now, so we kind of expect that 
There should be another option here. On the input, we're expecting update to be false and the same in this version. And then we want to do, let's just do, let's do one single quick test here. If we if we also pass force because this is the legacy version at the moment we haven't started doing this kind of style here where we have a sub command we're doing the legacy import and we do have a force for that um, then that should end up with update true. That's all going to fail now. Okay. And then here That's okay. There's no way to kind of fail with the force at the moment. So in the config itself, Yeah, on the default. Basically, want a boolean here. Um, actually, now I should probably test that. Should all fail at the moment. Um, there should be all kinds of problems actually. Okay, well that's good. That's what we expected. Um, and then the daemon has actually got proper problems at the moment because we haven't updated it for the sync options. Yeah, one eight six. Do bus test. Do a quick fix up there. Yeah. Um, and we'll start off here actually. So we'll do options. It's just a new So that means it's just doing an update. Oh, sorry, an insert. 
because the default for the update flag is false. So that should now compile. Yeah, so we've only got the config test that we expected there to fail. Because we haven't got a config item for it. So we'll take that. And we will call this force, I guess, at the moment. the actual thing that I've got. Um, okay. Think. So we've got force flag that's been set there with the force there, default force. If used in conjunction with import, existing snippets with the same abbreviation are updated. Okay, so we actually have a flag now. And then on the import, We need to use it so we need to set that just here we'll just do a update because we're cheating a bit here internally we're going to call it an update but the flag is on the legacy side is called force. Okay, I'm gonna watch the time. I'm gonna go um, do something and I've got to defrost the car and stuff first. Right, um, so that should be good, in theory, for the test. He says, hopefully. Okay, cool. All right, so we have a flag coming through. So the import flag has been, has a pickup of the update. So that's good. I'll close that file. And in here, we are grabbing that update, Boolean, and sticking it in the options. So this is in the command line interface. Uh, so that should be good. Okay. On the debus service, uh, we've just got this new thing. We'll leave that open for the moment. Config test, we're good for now. Close that off. Uh, now it's the debus stuff we need to fix up. So we want to fail here. We want to 
do a quick test where um, update existing snippet with same abbreviation just so we know exactly what we're doing here so we're going to take all these again I'm not going to take all that actually. In fact, what we want do we want a fresh set of data? No, we don't. What we're going to do, um, right, is however, ID is not set and should not change. Let's do that. So this is going to test the uh, the legacy version, basically. What we want to do Yeah, let's do a clean set here. We'll just do what we need. So we're going to have um, debus snippets. It's now going to be oh, I've got to go. Um, Yeah, that's an array of debus service snippet. Don't know whether it's going to like that. It's not. Okay. Why? Could do, could do sneaky.
probably ran out of time. I'm not thinking straight because I know I've got to go like in a minute. So I think what I'll do is I'll put it to do here. Um, Date. What's in single? Ripple snippet. That's one thing I haven't tested actually. Today. Get snippets and check new snippet exists. Need to do that as well. And then I need to do that again here afterwards get snippets and check snippet updated stuff I need to test because I know it's not it's all going to fail because we haven't done any of that yet but once we've got that in place we can make the changes to do it but I've got to go so uh, thanks for watching uh, until next time take care bye